Hi everyone, this is Nathan from the ebookreader.com. For this video, I've got the 9 inch pen digital novel. They have a couple of 7 inch models. Um, they went ahead and took it up a notch with this 9 inch screen. It's not quite as a good resolution as the other ones. This is 800 by 480, so it is kind of pixelated. I really don't, it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, smaller text, it's a lot more noticeable. So then it's got this tie in with Barnes Noble's ebook store. You got email. Um, so Barnes Noble store here, it doesn't set up for landscape, but uh, obviously you've got different sections for newspaper, newspapers, and then all your titles show here. I'll get into more of this in a little bit. You've got email, web browsers, calendars. These are sort of the base apps that it came with. It also comes with some more in the settings menu over here. But um, I didn't want to mess with the home menu too much, so it's sort of how it is when you get it. So what you're going to want to do when you get this thing is it's a little complicated to start up because you need to install some Android apps. If you want to install Android apps, you're going to go to the browser. Um, you can go to sites like Android Freeware, or you can go to Sam, go to SlideMe, and then you can install this app um, using a web browser, and that way you can install apps through this application. I'd recommend getting that Dolphin browser for one, because it's a lot better than the stock browser. Okay, so then you can install stuff like Maps, YouTube, actually, YouTube link's hard to find. You're going to have to get that on my website. Um, a lot of the versions don't work. Um, so then once you get some apps, you use your ES File Explorer to install them. It'll, it'll open up your what you got on your SD card, and you can browse through your internal memory, and then install them from here. All you got to do is click on the apps to install them. So then, um, go to my site. You can get the Android. I got a whole pack of Android reading apps. If you want to um, use it for a lot of ebook reading functions, like uh, I got all these ones set up on here, so most of these will work. I haven't tried all of them exactly on this model, but I've tried it on the other ones. So. Um, some things like, yeah, you got the Kindle, you got the Barnes Noble app. Uh, one of my favorites is FB Reader. So then touch screen works pretty good with your fingers. Works better than the older Pan Digitals, I thought. Um, you use the stylus, too. It seems to work pretty good for um, scrolling, essentially, um, when you're using a web browser and stuff. So like uh, one thing I'm going to show you real quick with FB Reader, if you install this, it confuses a lot of people. One thing you're going to want to do is go into Settings and change the directory of where it gets your ebooks. Automatically it goes to a new folder, so you're not going to have any ebooks showing. Just ship, um, change the directory right there where you want it to go. I changed mine to ebooks because I already had it in a folder. And that way it shows everything in your library. You can go ahead and change background color. You can um, adjust the brightness just by going like that. And it has a lot of different uh, customizable settings. It's a lot like um, Aldeco. It has the same settings like that, and you can get free ebooks from books and some other websites and of course you got the Kindle app you can actually sideload your own Mobi and PRC's now that one's sideloaded you just put it in the folder so the Kindle app's got some cool features if you hold down you get the option for notes highlights you can look up on dictionary.com Wikipedia you can also change the background Let's go, you gotta hit menu. Um, different text options. Like I said, uh, the pixelation on the screen is a lot more noticeable when you um, have smaller text like this. It's definitely more suited towards a uh, larger text size, I'd say. You got different background colors for this, too, of course. Okay, so that's the Kindle app. You get a lot of other apps on here, like you can see. I kinda like these news apps, too. Let me show you this comic app. A lot of people like reading comics on these color screens, of course. This uh, this is a, a free app. I think this one's available on SlideMe. It's a pretty good PDF viewer or um, comic viewer. And then you can it uh, reads CBZ, CBR, and uh, ZIP, I believe. The um, CBRs it does take quite a bit longer to load. But uh, the quality is better. I'm going to back out of here. So you can install some news apps. I'm kind of liking the Times Mobile app here. <sighs> Takes it a few seconds to load up. In landscape mode, I like it because it shows the pictures like this. You can just sort of scroll through here. One thing, some of these apps, they don't have really large text size because they were developed for phones. Got this one, medium, large. So if you have the YouTube app installed, you can just watch videos. 
by clicking on this. The app doesn't work. The, uh, the app works. Doesn't render this thing properly. Okay, you're playing about here, pal. Okay, that's a way to slow down the review entirely. There we go. So the video, um, I like the screen size, it's good for video, but this thing, um, it's always a little laggy, as you can see, it's dropping a few frames. It's incredible. Seems to be a little better on YouTube videos. I have a couple of other videos loaded. But it does seem to be a little laggy here, let me show you. So it's full screen. I think that's just the way the avatar resolution one is. As you can see, it's just it's not completely smooth. Okay, so let's see here some other functions we've got. We got a music player, of course. Um, like I said, I like the Dolphin browser. It's got some different features. You can use the volume keys to scroll around, so you don't have to use this all the time. Um, some other apps, you guys, I showed you the news app. So, like I said, with the YouTube app installed, you can... A lot of these articles over here on Huffington always have related videos, and so that you can watch those. Um, just that's what's kind of cool about it, though. Let's see here. Um, let me show you some of the ebook reading functions on the BNN thing. So you can also load Adobe eBooks. So this is the reader. Uh, so it says it can download Barnes and Noble's periodicals. I downloaded one of their. Um, let's see here. One of the magazines. A couple of their magazines. One of their magazines wouldn't work. The National Geographic. Um, Eismos works. And then the newspaper works. So it lays out, um, you get the heading articles, and then um, there's different, um, you come into the contents to go to the different sections. Click on the heading to go to the article. Oops. So it has notes and highlights, that's what that was. Dictionary, notes and highlights, if you hold down. And you got the next article icons up there. Of course, you can adjust the text size. Okay, night read. Oh. Okay, so let me go back here and show you um, PDF real quick. PDF really isn't very good in this um, reader application. It's good in landscape mode. Let me see here. So to go into your own titles, you have to hit title SD card. So. Landscape mode, it does this odd thing where it puts everything to the side here. I've got the um, font size. It has reflow, so you got to have it on medium to have the original layout. So it does that for some odd reason. In, in regular mode here, it's pretty nice. My stand's falling over. Um, just all depends on how it's laid out. Hyperlinks do work. Of course, the V5 is right there, so it's not going anywhere. So there's other PDF programs. I have the Adobe Reader installed. It's not really that great either. There's uh, Adobe X, but um, it requires Adobe, um, Android 2.1. This is Android 2.0. So this is um, it's pretty good for viewing PDFs. It doesn't remember what page you were on. There's one problem with it. And then it takes a while to scroll down. Obviously, if you're in the middle of the page or something, you got these. Um, you can zoom in with this one. It's also got reflow. OK, 
Yeah, I didn't show you the BNN app completely. Let me show you some of its features. Same deals with the um, newspaper. You can tap um, up here to bring up your. Apparently not. Okay. Um, get your go to. Thing disappears pretty quick. Table of contents, bookmarks. And then, like I said, if you hold down, it'll bring up the icon for dictionary, highlights, and notes. Locks for the um, orientation. So that's about it for this review. We're already getting up there in time. So um, check out theebookreader.com. I've got a lot more details on this thing. I've got some links to some downloads for some apps and instructions on how to install apps a little bit more thoroughly. Um, so check out theebookreader.com. Thank you for watching.